Hey guys, welcome to Season 4, Episode 1 of Bones! Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can get these videos 20 weeks early, and for example, we're watching here, Season 4, Episode 1, but I haven't even posted Season 1, Episode 1 of Bones yet on YouTube. So that's how early you can be getting some of this stuff that early. It's an option. Anyways, here we go. Oxford! In closing my lecture on interstitial Lamelli Ramon. Oxford! Agent Booth is the intuitive humanist, while I am the logical <laughs> empiricist. Although recently I have seen how destructive pure logic can be. My own assistant, the most brilliant young man I've ever met. Ended up uh, a sidekick to a cannibalistic serial killer. I, I haven't invited you to join me, Booth, so you could take your seat. What I've learned Gross. from Agent Booth is that we scientists must arm ourselves with something other than pure logic. I can't, I still can't. Policy which deflects us from the rational admiration of the rational. Exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> I was tired, okay? The, the boobies took me out for a beer last Bobby, night. Second well, I'm pretty sure that Sir uh, Pauline and uh, Jacqueline are, you know, the boobies. Dr. Britton! I find that if one ignores the thing long enough, generally it stops ringing, and then later, at my leisure, it will tell me what it wanted. Well, is it a boring one or is it a violent one? Is your interest peaked? Are you being serious? I'm going oh, to you're pass inviting her on it? Of mine, and simply like you to state the origin of this call. Homicide. Cheers. Oh. Would you like to tag along? It is murder. I can't promise you. Murder. It's possible a famous heiress. Because you're a cowboy, want to tag along? Oh, please don't call him that. You find it insulting? No. He will love it. <laughs> oh my gosh! She's from Game of Thrones. And Star Wars. So this is their version of... Ignoble. Oh, so like the English version, I mean, you? Yeah. Because he thinks it might be her. She's an American, as is her father. Do you know me? Not all Americans know each other, Kate. There are quite a lot of them. We're currently analyzing one of his construction sites. Frankton wishes to build skyscrapers over what may prove to be a Bronze Age treasure trove. Or maybe just a rubbish. Wait a second. So the steering wheels are on the other side? Exactly. That's what I thought. I thought the steering wheels were on the right. Like, in, when you're in the car, I could have sworn. I doubted myself. I said that in another uh, show. They were in another country. And I was like, I swear, I thought the steering wheel was on the other side. Why? But I, I was like, no, wait, no. Maybe I was just thinking about them driving on the other side of the road. I was right on both. I doubted myself. Just tell me you can have a gun. Bones and I are the best crime-solving team in America. Well, uh, anyway. Let's all just try and pull together, shall we? Oh, I'm looking forward to completely surrendering myself to Dr. Brennan. Carter, back to the Jeffersonian, all of it. Put in the overhead. <laughs> Not just evidence. Action of human remains. Oh, so this guy took his place? Records, no jokes, please. Check it out. British slime. So much more proper than American slime. Some kind of paper. I'll we'll see if there's anything on it. Oh no. Angela. <laughs> what are you doing? Grayson. Angela. That's the last bit of sugar you're ever gonna get from me. I want my divorce. <laughs> Portia Frampton, only daughter of Roger Frampton, 47. That was just, why? Weakest coffee I've ever had. Both, that's tea. Okay, two weeks ago, Mr. Frampton was last seen leaving her home the morning after her 21st birthday. That's what we do. Yeah, I expect her, that's extraordinary. Sweet. Portia Frampton was struck from behind. Trauma to the zygomatic suggests that she fell to the ground and then was struck again at least two more times. Weapon? The Brits were unable to recover all the skull fragments, so it's nearly impossible to tell. My soon-to-be ex 
husband. We must. He's a big dude. But until Grayson hands over signed divorce papers, I don't really need Hodgins seeing everybody gawking at him like he's some kind of god. But he is some kind of god. The best kind. Cam, a little help here. <laughs> oh my god. Poor Hodgins. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Hodgins? Angela is in love with me. I told you, Grayson. Clearly. Angela, she just kissed him. Do you him. remember the night we met? Oh, God. Vaguely. Ah, uh, the waves were phosphorescent. Bioluminescent phytoplankton. Nothing mystic. We talked about how the universe speaks to us. I'm gonna need a list of your enemies. What enemies? Well, you're a very aggressive American businessman living here in England. You must have enemies. Portia was like a younger sister to me. We talked about everything. Right. Is that some kind of crusty old politician or something? Lord Bonham is a very uncrusty young man, heir to the Duke of Innisford. Right. Harry, Henry, <laughs> Bonham, whatever. The Duke would be the Lord's father. I got it. Bones, I understand. Okay? okay. <laughs> I, all right, so the Duke says something and all of a sudden magically it happens. Welcome to England. A murderer is a murderer, no matter how close he is to the throne. Huh. Why did you rent this? I didn't rent this, okay? They screwed up the rental car place. We drive on the left here. Yeah. Cool. The driving here requires a different skill set. I, I can take the wheel if you like. I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> Is he driving? We should wait here until the traffic thins out. I'm glad we had a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan. Turns out Portia Frampton was pregnant. Pregnant? How far? Oh. Long? Okay, I feel much better, but I miss you. Lord Henry Bonham, heir to the Duke of Innisford, knocked up the victim. Oh, hang on, girls. We have this twin swirl. Oh hell. Get out of this thing, it's like being born again. Oh boy. FBI. You might as well put this one away. It's worthless. And yet, here I am. <laughs> am I waiting that time? What the hell annoys that we mean? Let's say the Duke and Duchess won't be used to your approach. It's a word of advice. When they start commenting on you to each other, you've got them on the run. Right. <laughs> made of polyalpha olefin, leaded, acidic H2O residue, and plenty of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Don't make her ask. Thank you, Angela. A motorcycle was transported in the back of the SUV. More likely a scooter. Why can't you size. just say that? Bumps the car, body and all in the river, and rides a scooter home. Through the teeming streets of London. Hmm. Okay. My family has served uh, his grace's family for eight generations. Yeah, well, a real butler would also take awful. that. Whoa, look at this guy. Uh, yes, sir. German design? His grace's ancestors fought for Henry VIII yep, in France. Your grace. Oh, that's one large cup. Probably to scare this to see French. But actually, Henry VIII started the trend of large cod pieces because he had syphilis, so his penis was extremely sensitive to anything touching it. His grace favors the intimidate the enemy version. So, Portia, ever <laughs> come to visit this uh, palace? The classism in England, though very much relaxed since the Second World War, <laughs> exists at the highest levels of society. That's you, right? One prefers not to make such an assertion. How long did you and Portia Frampton carry on a sexual relationship? And I'm sure she rather enjoyed it. You're a well-formed, athletic boy. Did you offer refreshments? I had no intention of encouraging them to stay longer, Mother. Tea, please. Harry kept his relationship with the Franklin girl secret because her father is a rapacious crook who uses intimidation and bribery to get what he wants. Portia's party was lovely. Oh my god. She's in front of me that morning. <laughs> it's the last time I saw her. I hate but tea. Did hear from it's frickin' Because nasty. our cell phone records indicate that you talked that morning. It's a very personal Which I mean, I'm sure I'd like tea if everyone did was you like... Did discuss her pregnancy? Given to it, you know, like... I got it. <laughs> Tell you what, it was a argument. Joke. Portia wanted to keep the baby. You didn't. Blood run, sure tea right. runs through y'all's veins. No idea. Look at that. <laughs> Being intimidated by royalty. 
Mm-hmm. She must have been. Portia broke up with me. There you go. Motive for murder, no matter what country we were in. Mm-hmm. Get a bit of pinky. Call it the upper class version of a cup of joe. <laughs> <laughs> Tabloid photos of the victim. Only the main subject is in focus. What is this place in the weekends? A dungeon? Could it be fake? Light it with torches, right? No, it was no. a telephoto lens, but it's been doctored to look as though it's over 500 millimeters. When I put it at more like 80. Well, why would anyone do that? You see that white sliver? You mean a white block? Yeah, it's a reflection of light. Someone took the picture inside the house. Right, with an 80 millimeter lens. Interesting. Maybe. My ex-husband is here with the divorce papers, so hopefully I'm going to get back. Another mix of personal and professional new people seem to manage. Harry could have taken the photograph. We're most likely searching for a disgruntled servant who is looking to cash in. Oh, that's true. You built Angela a home with your bare hands while simultaneously smuggling medicine to children in Cuba and supporting an orphanage. You're a saint. I get it. If you believe that to be true, then you should want what is best for Angela. I do. Why are you better than me? Obviously, I'm not. But I do love her more than you. Uh, you cannot possibly know that. And yet, I do. Uh. <laughs> we are at an impasse. She kissed me. On the cheek? Or... What's going on? Oh, man. It was a goodbye kiss. There's nothing you can do. You must accept it. Kids? Here, can you take this, please? wedding dates over the years, and each time Portia found a way to make it postpone. She had her father wrapped around her little finger. So you killed Little her. finger? It's ridiculous! I, I merely wanted Roger to regard Portia as a sexually mature adult with her own agenda, instead of as, as an innocent child. Sorry, I'm late. Court went rather longer than expected. Uh, Heather, I trust you said nothing. Oh, too late. Too late why? Roger! Oh, Roger! I trust this interview is over. Actually, I just have one more question. Who the hell would want to wear this? <laughs> Honestly. It's so nice to see you relaxing and enjoying some good British beer, Agent. What is British beer? I'll tell you what, I'd like to see that open. Isn't it just beer? Is there a difference? Like that, wouldn't you? I'm intrigued. I don't like we beer, so actually I'm not. Today. But <laughs> beer is disgusting. That's a Walther PPK. Oh. It's a James Bond gun. It's the American squints who love these people. <laughs> Booth. Booth. A letter to Portia Frampton from her mother. A keepsake from her childhood. Oh. Uh, it's dated this year. Uh, the entire body of the letter is indecipherable. So Portia Frampton's mother is still alive? That's... It raises a whole set of questions. Yeah, that's a whole... This is a wow. What now? Well, I thought, quick drink, back to yours for some sex, and then out for a late supper. <laughs> well, he says you have to rack him up. Rack him up? How vulgar. Oh. Booth is very good at reading people. Have you talked to Angela today? Yes. Are you saying our victim was attacked by an abalone? How mad is she? Mad, mad, mad. I thought women secretly liked it when we fought over them. Women is an unacceptable generalization. <laughs> Bones, I've been driving since I was 12. Look, the Wexler is just... I'm not agitated because of you and Dr. Wexler. Wexler's just another guy looking for a one-night stand. No, take it seriously. Seriously? What do you mean? You never laugh during sex? Because I do. Whoa, do you see that lorry? I see that lorry. It's a truck. The whole word American in is a truck. <laughs> I laugh during sex. It's I'm just a okay, news bulletin for you. Bones, there's not a guy in this country who would want to have sex with you. Now we have to be around. Oh, 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 oh. Are you nice about me or awful about punishment? Wexler is not special. You are. Shit. Booth shouldn't be behind the wheel. He isn't adaptable. I'm Mr. Adaptable, okay? The mirror is the size of a thumbnail. We're good. Yeah, unless we get a flat tire. No, we're good. If I could speak again, 
I had better luck with the tumor. Our victim suffered from von Hippel Lindau disease. What the hell is that? Oh god. Sir, her father must have it. Roger Franklin worked for the NHL? He, he may have VHL disease. <laughs> Roger Frampton is not Porsche Frampton file. Oh my god. That's just great. I hate this car. Porsche and I met at a cafe in Knightsbridge the day after her party. I gave her a party. Roger. What did the letter say? I'm sure I couldn't possibly tell you. Uh, Mr. Frampton, how is your health? Porsche is not your biological daughter. Huh. So he did know. Here we go. Angela, men are idiots. Are you a man or a boy for the purposes of this conversation? <laughs> when I was 10, the kid next door had a turtle party wagon. It's an accessory for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. It's a toy. I wanted that party wagon. So I climbed the tree outside his bedroom window. But the tree had a fungus, and his dad was too cheap to hire an arborist so unbeknownst to me, some of the branches were dead. And the kid with the party wagon comes in. I confess everything. You know what he says? I would have given it to you. Uh, he had a little gay crush on you. <laughs> oh man, that explains a lot. But <laughs> what? I'm guessing that you have a different point to the story. Crushed Sloractinian coral. Possibly from Australia. Coral? She was killed in Coral! Australia. This was a surface for private roadways in England. Hey, Hodgins? Yeah, hey. Hi, Angela. <gasps> security cameras, people. Building oh my. security things. <laughs> oh, the, the bells. The universe speaks. That's all you needed? Hodgins found coral and roses in the car. still there. He takes your car with a flat tire and puts it up on the truck, all right? Wait, whoa, 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 don't smell that. You don't know where that's been. <laughs> this is crushed coral and it smells like roses. <laughs> where did we pick up crushed coral? And the royal said she never came to the house. Oh. They lied. They did lie. I didn't request backup. Well, great. In that case. <sighs> Well, I want a gun. I'm a very good shot, and I, I've killed before. It didn't bother me as much as I thought. Oh. <laughs> well, yes, but not as much as I thought. We have a letter from Portia's mother. We don't know what it says. Ah, oh, but they don't know that. Good work, Pritch. Will you please put that weapon away? Fine, it just feels wrong. Starting the beginning bones. My dearest daughter, Portia. Uh, skip to the part about her father. Wait, a moment, please. Would you leave us, Harry? This is not the way for Harry to discover certain harsh truths. Please, Harry, a little trust. Oh, no way. No way. No way! Oh my god! <laughs> you must believe me when I tell you that I had no idea of this before Portia read the letter to me. You met with Portia here. What did it say? I believe I'm going to have to request you to accompany me to Scotland Yard, Your Grace. The request? <laughs> <laughs> that will not be necessary. It's I, James. The butler? You ordered your butler to kill Portia Frampton? The Duke had absolutely nothing to do with it. Wow. <laughs> Inspector Pritchard will be hours in the interrogation room with him, but the fact is we'll never really know for certain. You mean he might just be protecting the Duke? Yeah. Totally conceivable, yes. Hmm. You know, That's... we do have a gun in England, and I really have been dying to use it. Well, it's a James Bond gun. It's Walter PPK, by the way. Ian, I think you're a lot of fun. Oh, hell's bells and buckets. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> it would upset me if it tastes like you. You see, rationally speaking, if you were to have someone operating your brain, for example, you would want to search your standard procedure many hundreds of times. You know, somebody who's absolutely at the top of their game, I don't really see why sex should be any different. Rationally speaking, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I don't believe in luck. What do you mean you don't believe in luck? Okay, well, 
how do you explain when good things happen out of nowhere? You know, good things. Money in the bank, uh, big doors, day parking, well, a, big piece of, parking. a big piece of the pie. That's good one. I call that a self-sustained perceptual response to the random nature of the universe. Wait, you may know, call, call what you want. You know what? Good luck. You are lucky I understand you when you say things that make no sense. See, you just agreed with me that it was luck. You just agreed right there, so I'll I take that. I agree. You agreed that it was luck, so cheers to that. I was using God, they're funny. Um, we're into season four. In the UK, to start the season, um, it is hilarious how different things are from, you know, US, UK, you know, just different, um, which, you know, is funny and interesting, and yeah. Um, anywho, season four, episode two is coming up next. If you like to get these videos early, you can do so down in the description, simplereactions.com, patreon.com, slash simplereactions. I'll see y'all next time.